With sports coming to a screeching halt, abruptly cutting short senior seasons and dashing dreams of postseason glory, we thought we would take a look back at the last four years of Naperville Sports Weekly, starting with season nine, presented by BMO Harris Bank. Welcome to the first episode of season nine of Naperville Sports Weekly. Season 9 of NSW was a year of change, success, and milestones. Two big differences that immediately affected the NSW landscape were the addition of two new hosts, Joe Olmo, who took over the Thursday slot, while Nico Hefflinger manned the Sunday show. There were also changes on the field of play. As the Valley Schools of District 204 joined Naperville North and Naperville Central as members of the DuPage Valley Conference. Naperville North Girls Cross Country was unchanged by the new conference mates as the team brought home a state trophy for a fifth consecutive year. While the girls finished second as a team, senior Judy Pendergast stole the show by shattering the state record with the time of 15.54 and in doing so, becoming the first female runner in IHSA history to break the 16-minute barrier. Nequa Valley Boys Cross Country celebrated the move to a new conference with some hardware of its own. The Wildcats used exceptional depth to overcome key injuries and are out to a third place finish at Detweiler Park. At the state golf meet, Nequa Valley star Jessica Ewan's incredible career came to an end one stroke shy of a state championship three-peat. The Wildcats senior took home a second place medal. Meanwhile, Bennett Academy freshman Lauren Boudreaux put the entire state on notice by finishing fourth. The Nequa Valley boys golf team rode the momentum of a regional and sectional plaque to a third place finish at the state tournament. One of the season highlights was Jack Vicotran's 18th hole chip in to clinch the sectional championship for the Wildcats. The high school careers of Naperville Central's Tiffany Chen and legendary head coach John Bonet both came to an end at the state championship single match in October. Chen finished as the state runner up to Hinsdale Central's Bella Lorenzini, adding the second place medal to go along with her fourth, third, and first place finishes. Another Red Hawk capping off an incredible career was diver Sidney Dussel. The Naperville Central sensation soared past the competition, winning the state championship for a second time in just three seasons. The football season saw Naperville Central rule the roost in the regular season with the DVC championship and an 8-1 record. But it was the 5-4 Warriors of Wabonzi Valley who ended up shocking the state by making the first run to the state semifinals since 1992, upsetting number one Edwardsville, Nequa Valley, and the Redhawks before coming up just short against Marist. As the calendar turned to 2016, Naperville Sports Weekly reached a milestone on February 21st with the airing of the show's 500th episode. While we celebrated the occasion in the studio, there would be plenty of celebrations from our local teams as the winter sports season concluded. The Nequa Valley dance team made it two straight championships with another outstanding routine at the state meet. The Wildcats became the first back-to-back -back title holder since competitive dance became an IHSA sport. Matea Valley wrestler Dylan Irvin made program history. The senior overcame rival Max Irie of Wabonzi Valley in the sectional to become the first Mustang to make the grand march at the state final at the University of Illinois. Irvin would finish as the state runner-up at 195 pounds. Naperville Central Boys Swimming made an impressive run late in the state meet, taking second in the 4x400 relay by less than half a second, moving into second place and securing a runner-up trophy over Hinsdale Central. It was the second consecutive state trophy for the Red Hawks. The Bennett girls basketball team embraced the target on its back as the defending state champ. While BA was able to overwhelm Trinity in the state semifinals, the state championship rematch with Fremd went down to the final seconds. Senior Kathleen Doyle proved why she and the Red Wings were the state's best with a late three-pointer to capture the school's second consecutive title. Doyle would also be named Illinois Miss Basketball, an honor which allowed her to throw out a first pitch at a Chicago Cubs game. Despite an impressive regular season, which included an East Suburban Catholic League title, 
Many viewed Bennett Academy boys basketball as an underdog through the state playoffs. The Red Wings proved why they belonged by stunning the top-ranked Simeon Wolverines with a one-point win in the state semifinals. And the following night, Bennett had a 10-point lead in the second quarter, but could not hold off the Curie Condors in the state championship. It was the second state runner-up trophy in three years for B.A. Spring sports arrived and the juggernaut that was Nequa Valley Badminton continued to roll. Despite some tough competition from the first-time sectional champion Matia Valley and Naperville North who finished third at the state meet, the Wildcats won their second straight state championship. Lauren Ho finished as the state runner-up in singles, while the Wildcats made it an all Nequa doubles final with Sophia Lee and Ava Chang defeating teammates Joyce Chen and Serenity Venkatesen for the state medals. At the state girls track meet, a pair of juniors dominated the competition to bring home state medals. Bennett Academy pole vaulter Allie Munson not only won the state event in Class 2A, she even had a higher vault than the 3A champion by a full six inches. The Tia Valley's Courtney Morgan also took home a second state championship in the shot put while also finishing third in discus. It was a sea of red at the state water polo meet at Stevenson High School. The Naperville Central boys capped off the best season in team history, going a perfect 36-0 while knocking off the host Patriots for the program's first state championship. The Red Hawks faithful were treated to a nail-biter in the girls' championship as Central erased a halftime deficit to send the game to overtime. However, in the end, it was Fenwick who escaped with a 13-12 win and the state title. That was a look back at Season 9 of Naperville Sports Weekly, and next week we'll get a look at Season 10.